Hi there. Um, so we're all pretty well aware that urban environments not very good for shortwave listening, um, particularly key field antennas cause a problem. Um, got my own house, we've got a small garden, so uh, e field antennas, Bonnie Whip, MA305 don't perform very well except at very low frequencies. But what happens if you can borrow uh, someone's much larger garden? Um, and so this is it. It's about 70 or 80 meters in length. Um, and I've literally set up a random wire, 40 meters approximately in length. It's probably about 20, 25 meters from the house. And another good 30, at least 30 meters to the neighboring houses. And yeah, another 30 meters to the house at the bottom of the garden. Uh, and so there you go. And so I thought it'd be an interesting experiment to, to test how well a long wire works in a large garden in a sort of urban environment. I say urban, uh, this is basically a village, it's a large village. So and there's neighboring houses on all sides, but they're much further away than they are where I live in this village. Um, and so this piece of wire, which is about 40 meters long, attached at one end to a pole uh, that probably used to support a washing line um, and attached to a shed at the other end. Um, I've tried this sort of thing at my house and it doesn't it does work but the signal to noise is pretty horrendous because there are sources of electrical noise all around you in relatively close proximity. There's Toby. But in a much larger garden um, where you're further where you can set this antenna up further away from noise sources, particularly your own house, uh, I figured you'd get better results. Um, so let's give that a test. What I've also decided to do is set up the MA305 here and see how well that works in, a urban, in an urban environment, but in a much larger, larger garden. So, you know, the theory is that um, with less electrical noise, um, an E-field antenna does amplify everything, um, but there should be more signal and less noise to start with. So I should get some decent results from that as well. So a couple of helpers who are eating grass, which is a really bad idea. Um, and there you go. So let's, uh, I'm interested to see how the Bonito Mega Active MA305 performs anyway, but also potentially how it performs relative to um, a long wire uh, in this bigger garden with hopefully less noise. So there you go. Another experiment. I'm in my element as they say. Uh, yeah interesting to see. I'm not expecting the results to be as good as they are at the woods because there's still going to be some noise but I'm expecting them to be a lot better than, um, than what I generally see at, at my house um, you know I rely on the Wellbrook loop uh, to null a good deal of noise but it you know I'm fortunate that I can still copy you know some fairly ex exotic DX um, despite the noise because the Wellbrook you know is such a good antenna in that respect um, but the MA305 in a quiet environment has proven to be at least as sensitive as the Wellbrook so here it should work pretty well. Um, so let's see what happens. Anyway, it'll be an interesting test, I'm sure. Uh, in the meantime, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from them. Thanks for watching.